Hello everyone, I'm Abdi Hassan, and today I'd like to share with you all a proverb from my home country, Somalia. The proverb reads, Iskashato Mokufto, which roughly translates to, if people support each other, they do not fall. Now, I'd like for you all to keep this proverb in the back of your minds as we travel back in time together. The year was 2019. <laughs> for most, though not all, of us undergraduates, this was both our senior spring of high school and our freshman fall of college. For William and Mary, it was the year the Board of Visitors approved our statement of values. From this statement, one value in particular stuck out to me, belonging. I gravitated toward this value, but I was skeptical. Not because I didn't want it to be realized, but because I feared it couldn't be. I mean, after all, William and Mary is the alma mater of the nation with a rich history spanning back to the now hallowed date of 1693. So, my question remained, could belonging really be a universal experience at such an institution? The answer is yes, absolutely yes. Now, perhaps some of you don't need much convincing. Perhaps you've been fortunate enough to experience membership in a multicultural org, a fraternity, a sorority, a club, or one of the numerous other campus micro-communities that make up William and Mary. Perhaps you've been posted on the William and Mary website, Facebook, or Instagram page, and that was confirmation enough. Perhaps, though, some of you are still not convinced, and that's okay. For me, it took spotting our green and gold logo nearly 3,000 miles away from campus. That's right, it took an hour-long conversation with a fellow member of the tribe before it clicked, before I truly began to see myself as a part of this beautiful William & Mary community, this one tribe, one family. Before I, not having attended my high school graduation, could have ever dreamed of addressing my classmates at William & Mary's commencement. So, on the question at hand, can belonging be a universal experience here at William & Mary? I'm not asking that you answer in the affirmative today. I'm not even asking that you answer with such clarity or conviction as I have. I am asking that you remain open to the idea, that you do not give up on yourself, because surely we will not give up on you. Graduates, I hope you all will excuse me as I take a second to address your families. Families, I hope you all will excuse me when I say, your graduates now have a new family. Those graduating with them, those that have graduated before them, and those still to come. Now, as we all prepare to leave the familiar halls of academia for the unfamiliar world at large, I wanna offer once more my simple message if people support each other, we do not fall. Thank you, and congratulations to us, the class of 2023.